Hello gardening friends, this is the video that you've been waiting for all your life. We're going to be planting spinach down in our square foot garden bed. Let's get down to the garden and get going. Maybe it's not the video you've been waiting for your whole life, but it is pretty exciting to put seeds in the ground and to watch them grow, especially if you've never done it in your life before. And we can start planting spinach now because it's starting to turn cooler. Today was 47 degrees. Ew, it's so cold. Today we're going to use a bed that we had previously used for planting another square foot garden crop. And I put some wood mulch over the top of it. So I'm going to put that off to the side for now. Then we're going to loosen up just the top a couple inches. Like an inch or two is all you really want to loosen up because we don't want to mess with the soil underneath here. Here's the tromboncino squash that's growing on this trellis that's right here. I talk about that more in the video that I just published for my garden tour. Okay, now you see it's sank down a little bit since we've used it. It's probably just uh, compacted a little bit and composted down a little bit. So we're gonna add a little bit of compost on the top for some of my vermicompost. So we're gonna put some of this in and dig it in so we have some more nutrients for the spinach that we're planting. And we're just gonna dig that into the top couple inches, like I said. Get rid of any big chunks. It's not a bad idea to put some organic fertilizer in here too. Luke over to my gardener sells a really great fertilizer called Trifecta Plus. But I don't have any out here right now. I might water this with some seaweed fertilizer too to give these spinach seeds the nitrogen that they're going to need. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Just going to smooth this down. Make sure it's nice and level. And make sure it's fairly firm too because we don't want the soil to sink in. Get that trombone out. Oh, look at that. It was definitely ready to harvest. It came right off. It's not. This is not a tromboncino video, though. This is a spinach video. Right, so we're going to plant these seeds. Now, Luke, again, Luke at the MI Gardener, says that it's ridiculous to only plant the nine seeds in here that the square foot garden calls for because spinach can be planted a lot closer. This says thin to six inches, so Luke doesn't consider that very, uh, very realistic. Because if you only plant every six inches, you'll hardly get any crop at all. So he recommends putting like 50 seeds in this type of area. So we're not really going to count them that much. I'm just going to put some rows across here. And let's see what it says. Yeah, it says planting depth is like a half inch. So we're going to put fairly deep little grooves across here. And put some seeds in. So it looks like I came up with five, five rows here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, I came up with four rows. I'm not gonna be a stickler on how many seeds I'm putting in here. What I'm growing today is called Bloomsdale spinach. I just picked this up at the store. I didn't have any Luke seeds for spinach right now. Another seed that is really good spinach grower in this area especially is a Teton hybrid. If you see that at the store, you might want to pick that up. And there are different varieties of spinach. There's some that have really crunched up curly leaves, and those are not real great in my opinion because they catch and hold a lot of bugs and a lot of dirt. So I like one that's more like this that has a broad leaf and it's more of a flat type leaf. It makes it a lot easier to clean and a lot easier to eat. Though I don't usually clean many things that I eat anyways. I usually, just, most of what I eat, I just eat straight from the garden. So while I plant these seeds, I'm going to go ahead and read you the description on the back of the seed pack. This is Bloomsdale Long Standing Spinach. The description says, glossy dark green crinkled leaves. The plants stand a long time before bolting, so you can harvest over a long season. Great for salads. So in average soil in early spring for first crop, again in late summer for fall crop. In the south, so in the fall. So thinly in rows, one 
and a half to two inches apart. Cover with one half inch of fine soil, firm lightly, and keep evenly moist. Seedlings emerge in seven to 14 days. Thin gradually to stand six inches apart. Of course, we're not gonna do that. Full sun, six plus hours of sun a day. They're gonna mature 40 to 48 days to harvest. Plant them half inch deep. And it says they're container friendly. It says seven plants per 12 inch container. So they are saying when you plant in, in a container, you can definitely plant them a lot closer. Okay, so now I got the seeds in there. I'm just gonna sort of pinch these rows shut. Put the soil over top of the seeds. And then I'm going to firm it down because you don't want those seeds running away if we get some kind of a uh, heavy rain or anything. Okay, I'm also going to put a little bit of straw down over top of here to hold the seeds in place. Okay, I'm just going to put a little thin layer of straw across the top and that'll protect the seeds from washing away and the seeds will come up right through that straw. I'm gonna go ahead and get my watering can and give them some water too. Now what we're gonna do is, if we think these are planted too close, we can just pull some out, or we can just cut the leaves around the edge of the plants and eat those baby spinach leaves, which is, you see them sometimes in the store, they, have, they sell baby spinach leaves. You get such a better product, such better food when you grow it yourself and grow it at home. So I would encourage you guys to go out and look at my square foot videos if you haven't seen my other videos on how to build the square foot and the soil video on how to make the soil for your square foot garden. But I would encourage you to get started today, get started growing. If you are interested in growing organic, nutrient dense food in an urban environment, make sure that you are subscribed and click that bell so you get notified and don't miss anything. All right, I will go ahead and leave a link up here for a video that YouTube says you will like, and I'll leave a link on the other side to my starting square foot video. All right, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you all again real soon.